Physics students, good afternoon. Mr. Fugit here. Uh, in this video today, we're going to be looking at uh, kinetic energy and solving for one of the variables that shows up in our equation for kinetic energy. So remember, kinetic energy is one of the three primary types of energy we've been calculating in class. And we have a mathematical relationship, an equation we use to solve for kinetic energy. Equal to one half times the mass of our object times its velocity squared. Okay? We refer to kinetic energy as the energy of motion. Okay? And this describes, uh, this is an equation that describes how much energy uh, is related to the motion of an object. As long as we know the object's mass and its velocity, we can solve for how much kinetic energy it has. So in this problem, uh, we're going to be given a few different variables and asked to solve for the mass of an object. So uh, this is problem number six on your last homework assignment number eight for the semester. It says this, a car has a kinetic energy of 4.33 times 10 to the fifth joules when traveling at a speed of a 27 meters per second, a, with about a, 60 miles an hour. We're asked for what is its mass. So let's take into account some of the variables that we have. We're given a value of kinetic energy. I believe it was 4.33 times 10 to the fifth joules. Now that's a pretty large value for kinetic energy. But remember, kinetic energy is dependent on the mass of an object and its velocity. So the fact that that object has, a, we're told it's a car, meaning it has a pretty large mass, means a, the amount of kinetic energy in that car is pretty high. It's also going about 60 miles an hour. So again, contextually, a, we're dealing with some pretty high values here for mass and velocity, meaning our kinetic energy is also going to be high. Now the velocity we're given is 27 meters per second. So here you'll notice we're given our kinetic energy and we're given velocity. Okay, all we're going to do is plug those values in to our equation and solve for uh, the mass. Okay. Now what I like to do is I like to uh, rearrange my equation and set it up to where I can solve for the variable uh, before I have to plug in any numbers. Okay. So if I wanted to get that mass by itself, okay, what I could do to my equation is I can multiply uh, everything by 2. So 2 times my kinetic energy, that would get rid of, oops, excuse me. Okay, 2 times 1 half, that would get rid of my 1 half value on the right side of my equation. And then I could divide by b squared on both sides of my equation. Okay? And dividing by b squared would help me get the mass by itself. So all I'm doing here is kind of rearranging our equation algebraically to get that mass by itself. So now I can go through and plug in my kinetic energy and velocity without having to do anything else. Okay? So I'm going to use this equation now to solve for the mass of our car. So two times our kinetic energy over V squared. Okay? So two times our kinetic energy, which was 4.33 e to the fifth joules, divided by our velocity squared, 27 meters per second, I get that value needs to be squared, is equal to our mass. Okay? So let's take a moment and plug these values in. Two times 4.33, e to the fifth divided by 27 meters per second squared. Now, when I plug these values in, I get a mass of approximately 1,187.9. Yeah. And since that's a mass value, as long as we have joules and our velocity was in meters per second, that's going to give us a mass value in kilograms. Now again, that's a pretty large value, but remember, the context of the problem is that we're dealing with the mass of a car. So our value here should be pretty sizable. Okay, I'll check the key to see if we how close we are. 1,187.9, and it looks like we're good to go. So here, uh, all we were doing was taking some variables that we were given and using our equation for kinetic energy to find the mass of our object. And again, your numbers are going to be a little bit different, uh, but the approach is going to remain the same. And hopefully this gets you all going in the right direction uh, for this style of problem. Good luck.